In today's video, we're putting a popular internet myth to the test to see if you can make a crystal out of a hot charcoal and peanut butter. All right, Callie, have you seen this video going around? It has like 195 million views so far, and it shows how you can turn a charcoal briquette and some peanut butter into a clear crystal. There's no way. I don't know, but we've had like dozens, if not hundreds of people asking to see if this works. So we are gonna try this out. Here's the basic idea. Following the video and the instructions as closely as possible, we're going to see if we can replicate the results of turning a piece of charcoal into a crystal. My goal is to replicate as exactly as possible how they show this being done in the other video. They also have some written instructions which don't really show anything more than what the video does. But talk us through what equipment we've got and what we're gonna be doing. It's really just a charcoal briquette, some peanut butter, and some ice. Now we've done everything we could to replicate as closely as possible to what we saw in the video. So in the video, I think we were able to make out a K on the briquette, so we've got a Kingsford charcoal briquette. You couldn't see what brand of peanut butter they were using, but it was smooth peanut butter and a fairly large jar, so we've got that. They used a metal bowl, we've got a metal bowl. They used small metal tongs, we've got small metal tongs. I think we've got everything about as close as we can get, so it's time to get started. First step, let's get some charcoal burning. We're gonna make a little pile of charcoal, we're gonna get some burning, and then we're gonna try and find a briquette that looks like it's just exactly the same amount of burnt as the one in the video. Okay. No! Ah! So now we're gonna take a burning charcoal inside the house, which, don't take burning charcoal inside the house, guys. Carbon monoxide's a real thing. The entire house already smells like burning charcoal, you guys. This is a terrible idea. If you don't have good ventilation, well, don't do this anyways, but especially don't do this in like a closed room. That's not how you're Fill supposed it. to open it. Not this. all the way, but yeah, most of the way. A little more, a little more. We're gonna dump some on top. That looks good. Charcoal into the peanut butter. <laughs> Swirling it around. Yeah, okay, is... that looks pretty well coated. Okay, go. Into ice. Okay, more ice on top, more ice on top. More, more. A little bit more. Okay, that's good. Now, we put it in the freezer. Okay, now, real quick, we have to leave it in here for 24 hours. Real quick. Okay, wait for it. We're just gonna live stream the next 24 hours. All right, we've let the peanut butter covered charcoal sit overnight. Now we need to rinse this off in a bowl of warm water. Okay, there's the. There's just charcoal. Briquette, but in the video, there's like a layer of it. You kind of got to work through. Oh, come on, come on. Ooh, Wait. I think I see something. What? Again. No way. No way. What? <laughs> Guys, there's a crystal in there. Okay, we've got a couple more. Let's try these. Okay. What the? What is that? What? What the heck? It's like what? a metallic crystal. Has anybody else ever gotten this result before? Check that one. What's that yeah, one? Yeah, what's this? What's this? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. Guys! Oh my gosh. I think it's a Pokemon. <laughs> It's a Bulbasaur. I made a Bulbasaur. Look at that. The metal, the Bulbasaur, and the crystal are all equally real. None of these worked. In fact, that's not even crystal. That's isomalt. It's a sugar substitute. This is completely edible. Do you guys want to know why this doesn't work? There's about a thousand reasons, honestly. <laughs> But let's break it down for you. So we did have actual charcoal briquettes we put in the freezer, but what we showed pulling out of the bowl and then putting in warm water, and you saw the reveal, we rubbed away some charcoal, and like, oh, there's crystal behind it. We just took one of these pieces of isomalt that was kind of shaped like a crystal. We took some charcoal powder, we mixed it with some water, some corn syrup, and some peanut butter to give it a good consistency, and then we just stuck it to the outside of our Bulbasaur, our, this is a small piece of gallium, and our isomalt crystal, and we just formed it into a sort of a briquette shaped, froze it, we had liquid nitrogen, so we used that, but you could have just as easily set it in the freezer for a couple hours. We just froze it, and then we just 
spread peanut butter on it and we put it in a bowl of ice. None of these were even close to real. <laughs> Let's take a look at the real ones and see how those are different. We're doing a real test as well. We want to see what happens if we don't fake this and try and get some real results. So we're gonna take three more chocolate briquettes from our little barbecue bonfire in the backyard. We're gonna dip those in peanut butter and try and coat them, but as you saw, the peanut butter doesn't actually coat that well, so I think even that part was faked. Uh, and then we're also gonna see if we can microwave one. Callie, why are we trying microwave? So I looked at several videos online. Yes, there is the really, really popular one, but it doesn't actually show you how you're heating up that charcoal briquette. I saw multiple other videos that say that you're microwaving that briquette, so that's what I'm trying. Do you think 90 minutes is enough? That should do it. <laughs> okay. Sorry about your house, Grant. <laughs> All right, so what's the difference between this one and the last one? Uh, this one's real. We're not gonna take it out and put a crystal inside it before, we, <laughs> before the reveal. Oh, that smells so bad. Um, also, the microwave's smoking. <laughs> this cannot be healthy. <laughs> that was two minutes. Can you see how much time's left? Oh, so the video I watched, this guy put his briquette in the microwave, took it out, dunked it in the peanut butter, and then said, must leave for a hundred minutes. I'm gonna take this out and dunk it in there, and I'm gonna pull it out in like an hour and a half. <laughs> Don't show that part. <laughs> Please show Dang that it. part. <laughs> microwave briquette. The briquette that we left in longer, that had most of the briquette was like turning gray and was on fire a little bit. Like that's been dunked in a lot of peanut butter and it's under the ice. It's burning right through the peanut butter. There's still like smoke coming up out through everything. And I can hear it. It's like boiling some of the ice away too, I think. So I don't know if that's smoke from the peanut butter or steam from the heat and ice. But our microwave looks like it might be about to light on fire. So <laughs> I think it's time to take that charcoal out. We are about to set off the fire alarm. Whoops. That's gonna be there a while. Okay, so we have let the charcoal from the microwave sit in the peanut butter for 100 minutes. Ah, oh, aha. Turn it into a crystal. It turned into a crystal, it turned into a... Oh, well, that is, that is early. I can get it, I know I can. Aha. Yep, seems right. You know what? I'm gonna call that good enough. All right, let's let that sit for 24 hours. It's now been 24 hours. It's time for the reveal. All right, moment of truth. This is the real one. An actual charcoal that was hot. And we put in peanut butter and then we froze overnight. And now we're gonna see what's really on the inside. If there's actually a crystal in here, I'm gonna laugh. Oh, guys! Guys, look at this! It's still a briquette. A slightly burnt piece of charcoal? Can I break it? Hang on. Nope. Nick, get the hammer. Guys, the truth. Whole lot of charcoal inside that charcoal. Nothing else. Our three briquettes at different temperatures. So these were all on fire. We let that fire burn out. One was a low heat, one was a medium, one was high, and then this is our... Microwaved. And then left in the peanut butter for 100 minutes just to be safe. Oh look, it's a charcoal briquette. Uh-oh, you better break it just to be safe. There's the inside, it's charcoal. Here, try your medium one just in case. Oh look, another charcoal briquette. What? Please. Yay, more charcoal. But what about the one that was like super heated? Most of it was burning. So, first off, you can see the scorch marks from when we dropped it in the peanut butter. Again. What? No Shocker. crystal inside? All right, my microwave one, but I followed all of the instructions correctly. What's this? <gasps> Nate! Nate! Is it charcoal? It's charcoal! No way! <laughs> oh, look. A charcoal briquette. Guys, you can't make crystals out of charcoal and peanut butter. 
Crystals are formed from volcanic activity. Different kinds of rocks are slowly cooling down, often under massive amounts of pressure. And when I say slow, I mean like it usually takes thousands of years for good crystals to form. You can get those kits in the store that you can make chemical crystals over a couple of weeks. But again, that's a couple of weeks with chemicals. That's different. There are ways you can do it even faster than that sometimes. I think Grant has done some where he boiled off all the water in a pot and you were left with a bunch of crystals growing in there. That looks pretty cool. Yeah. But like this doesn't even have an evaporation of water to leave behind a residue that's going to form into a crystal. And that's something else we've talked about. Coal and charcoal. Not, Not the same, same thing. thing. Callie, what is coal? So coal is actually the mineral anthracite. And what that basically is, is it's a mineral composed of carbon. It takes millions of years to make a lot of pressure, and it's basically the breakdown of plant remains. Whereas what we've been using, the charcoal briquettes, charcoal is sometimes called coal because it kind of resembles it and is used in similar ways when you burn it. But charcoal is just wood or other similar plant material that's been burned in the absence of oxygen. It's something that you can make pretty easily yourself and happens pretty much every time you have a campfire. You make a fire and then there's like the black stuff at the bottom that is still just in lump shape. That's just charcoal. And the briquettes are charcoal that's been made and then broken up into like dust and then compressed down into just the right shape with maybe a little bit of other chemicals in to make it burn a little bit better, at least with this kind that we're using. Not the same thing as coal and doesn't turn into crystals under this situation or possibly any situation. So pretty much everything about this is just 100% nonsense. And I, I think honestly the people making the video knew that it was 100% nonsense. I don't think they are actually trying to convince anyone. Well, they were trying to convince people it was real. I don't think they thought it was real when they faked it because they definitely faked it. They made a crystal, we made a Bulbasaur. We win. Bulbasaur. Can you make Pokemon? Guys, that's not all. We've always got more for you to see. If you hit this box up at the top, it will take you to our latest video. The box at the bottom will take you to what YouTube thinks you should be watching next. Go ahead and hit this bomb in the middle. It'll subscribe you to the channel so you never miss out on the fun. Don't forget to ring that bell, and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.